Hey folks, Ivan here, and today we're going to do some more work on the mines. Uh, let me get back in the first person. There we go. Bring up the... So you may notice the rails. And you may notice the very, very far down drop. Demonstrated here by... That. Oof. Fall down there, you go splat. Right. So you may notice this over here. This is our, uh, what is the gantry that we will be building today. So you may be wondering why there's so much built already. Uh, the reason for that is because I actually built it once before and didn't like it. So therefore we're building it again. Uh, let's get some, is this gonna break? I don't know. Playing a very dangerous game here. Wow, there, there is a lot of structural integrity to those uh, floors. Right, let's do the same over here. I wish I could. Oh, I can drag. Holy cow, I didn't know I could do that. That's crazy. You, you just hold down the, the button. I thought I had always put... Did I always know I could do that? I don't know. Right. So, uh, I kind of matched this out already. Actually, to be honest, I've recorded this video once before. Didn't like it, tore it down, and we're doing it again. So, uh, this is the layout. And I've got to look it over and make sure I remember exactly how I wanted to slay it out. Uh, yes. Right. Oh. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab what we need today. Do we need a bunch of these timbers? I grabbed some flat planks in case I need them, but I don't think I will. Uh, we'll leave the diagonals till a little bit later on. I do not need the wheels just yet, but I do need the catch blocks, which I may or may not have uh, created way too many. Uh, we'll get that. Let's actually, let's get a whole bunch more of these timbers. And realistically, I should pull this over. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, anyways, let's hop into F8. There we go. And we need to set up our bar. Or is it already set up? Eh, let's set it up again. Okay, cool. So what I need is... Which, no. Those. These. The diagonals. The catch blocks. The... Reinforced wheels. And is there anything else I needed right now? I don't think so. Mm -hmm -hmm. A lot of stuff I'm never using, like these steam engines. Uh, that is not uh, on the agenda. Right, so let's go into F8. And. Ooh. So the, if we go like this, actually, uh, should be four. Yeah, because this is going to be eight wide. Uh, Right. So, all right, and then this will be four right in the center. Perfect. And this is where I have to try to remember where I think this is, yeah, perfect. 
So, and I've already messed this up. <laughs> it needs to be three, uh, not four. Eight. Is that? Yep, they match. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's grab these like so. Now this is the next part, which is kind of tricky. We're gonna go ahead and Let's go ahead and put a block facing up. Or, you know what? Mm, no, the, okay, so let's do it that, that way. Right. There should be another three, I think, if I did this right. like this and then this should be three 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 two two and then three and then uh this should be eight Because the way this functions, well, let's go ahead and put one here and then eight. There we go. Was that right? Let's find out. Three, 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 one on each end, two, two, two. Perfect. All right, now let's go grab those wheels. We're gonna show off the, this uh, section first and then we will proceed One. In fact, let's grab a bunch of them. Let's see here. Six, eight. I think that's right. All right, let's go back over here. Grab eight, five. There we go. Quickly go over here, flip it. Next one. There we go. So, this is the basic outline of everything that's going to be put together. Um, I do have one more item that I need to put here, and that is, I think it's a nine. Yep, yeah, nine, perfect. So each of these uh, trucks are, is gonna be uh, 10 long and should be with the centerpiece here, which should be 10, perfect. And then, so what that will be is that if we looked over here, there'd be uh, one half of the truck on the outside of the perimeter here. Uh, let's done. So there's going to be one here. The other half will be here and then the same mirrored over here and here. So the 10 is what I'm going to be using uh, to hold the um, um, car. We're going to call it the car. Elevator car going down into here. So let me go ahead and build up the next uh, four sets since it's gonna be repeating the same and I'll be right back.
So all four trucks are done. They are connected right here. I didn't show that part. Um, the reason we did that is so that if uh, there were any breaks, hopefully this will keep it from uh, being unrepairable to the point where it had to be a complete teardown. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build up the uh, scaffolding or I'm not sure what else, the, the framing. Let's call it the framing. So uh, we're going to still work within like a, vertically speaking, a 10 tall uh, block, uh, even though that we're only eight wide. And the reason we're doing that is just because I do not want this uh, on the edge. I want to keep these wheels away from the edge. I could have built it all the way out. I decided not to do that just so I have a little bit of an extra, you know, it, it looks a little bit better in my opinion. So let's go ahead and do that. That. Plus, I mean, the trucks look really nice being kind of sandwiched in there, even though they don't, doesn't serve a, a function that way. There, there's never going to be enough weight to, to make that an issue. And then we're going to flip that so that we keep the same design as we did on the very bottom. So if we were to take a, this, uh, let's see here, like this, and then draw a line all the way down, you'll see that's 10 wide. And then when we go uh, this way, it should be uh, 9 as it was before, and 9. And we're going to keep the, the center point free, not here. Uh, this actually does get its own uh, reinforcement. Again, we're just creating points of contact. Uh, I think Gary's Bond in, in sense of uh, when you're trying to avoid something uh, reacting unusual. Um, it, you know, for those who play Gary's Bond, maybe I'm dating myself quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to, again, we're going to double up that again on this side. We're going to keep the center here free because I'm going to see if I can get a uh, staircase uh, inside this in order to um, be able to maintenance the top if uh, need be. I, since I can't get up there uh, to apply ropes, I'd like to be able to get up there some way. Um, right, so and then eight again, eight again. Do this. And basically, we're going to duplicate this. You know, and I could have, um, I could have put that here, and that's not, hmm. No, because the, the bottom, then I'd have to change the bottom, and I don't want to do that. So, uh, we're not going to mess with that. I thought about putting one here to kind of break up the thing, and I thought, nah. Uh, go. And then let's go ahead and extend this out to nine. So that, this is the base of the crane. If I, the top and the next part should be the housing. Uh, like I said before, this is gonna be, if we were to draw a center point, the, we could put a um, rope right here. Uh, rope drum going crossed. Um, and that would be, roughly here, which would help us line up everything. Um, let me think on that one. So the, the top portion, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm still working on that part. I'm deciding if I'm gonna put the drum here or if I'm just gonna put a center point here. Uh, my only worry is, is that if I put it here, uh, that we were gonna have some tipping issues, but I don't know that that's gonna be necessarily an issue. Um, the wider out it's going to be, the more stable in all directions it's going to be. But the... Um... 
Okay, so we've got this uh, set up here. Now the next thing we need to do is get the diagonals going. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, the recording went right. I looked over and all, it said 10 minutes. I'm like, I, I hope I recorded this uh, section being built here. If I didn't, this is uh, the framework that we're gonna be using today. So the bottom is, this piece is gonna be left open. This piece here uh, may have to do a little bit of work on. Let's see here. I wonder if I should bring that down. Is that gonna be? But they did it there. Hmm. I can't decide. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Um, we can do this side. If I did this right, I hope I did. Boom. Like so. Yes, I did it right. Fantastic. I was hoping this is gonna work. Uh, so this is how this is gonna work. Again, we'll show you off one, uh, and then proceed from there. The only one, it's not gonna work on this, the, right here, this is not gonna work, but that was done on purpose because I'm still gonna try to figure out a way to be able to, um, put in, uh, some sort of, uh, way to get up is the goal. Even if I've got to crouch down a little bit, uh, that'll be fine. I should be able to do, ex yep, exactly that. So basically we're cr creating our cross beams in line. Uh, I don't think this will cause any clang. It might cause a little bit. Uh, no, actually it, it, uh, they look like they do all right. Cool. Um, so we're gonna do this for all of these squares here. And we'll go ahead and we'll just keep doing that because it wasn't really a big shocker of, of a reveal. Um, speaking of, of reveals, I am looking forward to seeing what the, I almost put an X there. Oh, that would have been unfortunate. Um, the Bethesda uh, Xbox release, um, primarily because I, this we, um, I, I imagine this would be the first time. Maybe I'm wrong. I maybe I'm wrong with pa pandemic thing. When did Bethesda get uh, acquired by Microsoft? Um, but I think this would be the first one where they're doing this jointly. I could be wrong. I never really pay attention to these things, but that seemed mildly interesting to me. Uh, see if they can get things back on track. Maybe we'll finally see another Elder Scrolls that's not Skyrim for the thousandth time. Now released on your latest refrigerator, uh, ice maker. Not not the refrigerator itself, but the ice maker part. <laughs> oh dear. I was, uh, I was, I'm not a really a big fan of Skyrim. Uh, aesthetically, you know, it's not bad. Uh, storyline, not great. Not great at all, that storyline. Mm -mm. uh, I played Oblivion. I thoroughly enjoyed the Brotherhood, not Brotherhood, I almost said Brotherhood of Steel, uh, Dark Brotherhood uh, storyline. One of my favorite ones was the... Well, uh, you know what? It's it, if you haven't played it yet, uh, that's your fault. Uh, there's an assassin mission in a, a mansion, and there's multiple ways to go about doing it. And you, if you do it in a certain order, uh, you can get them to do whatever you want. Uh, you can get the last few people to kill themselves or kill the person. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um. So we got to figure out what I'm going to do here. I wonder if we could do like smaller axes. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see here. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> I went in. So let's see here. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I don't have any diagonal timbers. That's why I missed one. <laughs> You know, I was thinking off camera as I, I realized that I was probably out of diagonal timbers that I'd had to go back and get some more. And I was thinking, oh, how wonderfully smart my brain is that it doesn't even need to remember the exact number I had. It just uh, gives me the feeling that I, I should be out. And here it goes on camera going, haha, nah. You look foolish. So this is 10 wide in this this part. If I put a beam on either side, it would be fine. Just doubling up. You know, let's let's go for easy. Because I was thinking otherwise I could do like these like some smaller X's here. Let's go for easy. All right, so we're back into action. And the first, next thing I'm gonna do is not gonna make a terrible lot of sense. Uh, we're gonna go over one, like so. And the reason we're doing that, we're actually gonna make this one slightly different uh, to avoid extra uh, pieces in the end because if uh, I don't do this there's gonna be an additional uh, four or eight pieces in this build that do not need to be there uh, so we're just going to fudge out or fudge the lines a little bit on these go So it's going to look a little off on the top, but I, that's the only way I can avoid having extra pieces here. Um, and then unnecessarily um, difficult blocks or spaces, rather, I should say. And we'll, we'll dress it up a little bit. So that should work. Let's go ahead and put the blocks in here. Now, aesthetically uh, speaking, uh, so why why did I do that? Well, because we've been building uh, on an eight block section here, uh, width wise, and this part over here, the gap is still going to be ten. So we need to get that to a point where it's going to make sense. So that's why we're doing it this way. And we're going to do that on both sides. Here. And yeah, these are going to double up because we're still making our uh, our triangle pieces. It was weird. I hope I didn't click that somewhere. I'm going to find like a stray single piece. And I'm only going to build the front section, and then uh, we'll, I'll go to the the next piece here. Let's see here, eight and eight. These should be ten. Set right here like that. Eight. 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 I don't know why I keep saying eight. It, it's not <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, filling uh, air gaps, I guess. So. Flip this, put this down like that. Same situation. Get 
there. So, so 10 in here, if I did this right, which I hope I did. Nope, lost that one, Timber. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, right, so this, now we can go through. And There's eight timbers in there. This one is a little bit difficult because of the way it looks. And I think the solution is not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, I'll come back to that. I could always extend out the block. Hmm. I could take out this block here. That would work. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I'll go back and uh, figure out a way to get up there and fix that. For the time being, it's it's not necessary in any way. Well, it, most of this is not necessary. We could have easily did a stick uh, set up and been done. Uh, I'm going to keep this open. I might make a floor in here so I can walk back and forth. I'm thinking about that. I haven't decided that that's what's going to happen. Uh, very much like the um, the staircase. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. So I'll be right back after I finish the back end here. Okay, so I've got this section up, uh, sort of. I forgot to put the cross in. Oops. Uh, let me finish that in just a moment. Uh, First and foremost, I did put a slight rail uh, staircase up. This might be the way to go because I thought I read something about the other one not working per se. Let's go ahead and grab that and that and... <gasps> oh, God. All right. Let's go back up. This time we're just going to put in some actual, you know, something to walk on. Uh, I did not. I did. I ran. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's such a you know. I, if I had just absentmindedly kept running forward, that would have been. Uh, yeah, that would have been great. Mm. Oh, I ran out of diagonals. That's that's a problem. Ran out of diagonal just as I did that. Well, do I have to go back? Ah, I've got some more. I there might be enough um, to get this done. And I'm not so sure that this is exactly how I want to put it. Uh, I might move it over one or something like that. I don't know. Um, Obviously, this is just for maintenance purposes since I do this in survival. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, too um, over the top. So let's go ahead and since I'm already here, let's flip this, put this in eight. And eight. There we go. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. So I'm gonna keep the obviously I need to have a, a a way to get it over to these other sections. So this is gonna work out great for me, I think. Jump in here. I feel like is this off somehow? Where's this right? Oh, I put a block there. That's why. So let me put that block back. There we go. Ooh, come on. 
I know it's difficult. Oh, oh no. Okay. We're, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh dear. Uh, I, I'd hate to use it this, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do to just be able to get crossed. Go. Go. Yeah, there's this center block. Let's do that. Cool. I think this will work. Uh, I hope this will work. Do that same trick right there uh, to allow me to get up. So yeah, I could have done this. I, you can see now that I, I could have done this all without spectator mode. Um, I've done this before without it. Uh, it's not... I ran out of diagonal timbo, timbers. Let's go over to the uh, lab as it were. Because I think I'm completely out. And I started this episode over here, so nobody knows what happened over there. Um, and I can't remember what I showed off last time. I'm just double checking. I'm going to throw all this stuff in here. Right. You know, come to think about it, I have not had actual bread in two weeks. Oh, wait. I take it back one week because I I went and got Culver's uh, when I went after I went out to the shop. If you know what a Culver's is, basically it's like um, it's a burger shop. You know, I, I'd say it's, it's maybe a step up from McDonald's and Wendy's. Um, I say maybe. I, I mean, really, it's it's preference. I. No, I like it, but it, like most fast food, has uh, gone dramatically down. You know? uh, such is life, I guess. Um, like, I vaguely remember as a child the Big Macs being a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of this wheat. Um, oh, I thought I didn't grab some of it. I was like, what? I don't know, it, maybe it's just like, you know, nostalgia from for the past, but I swear that the Big Macs were better. Um, not uh, good for the environment, mind you, because they they used to come in the, those uh, plastic styrofoam containers. Uh, let's see, can I take out... I don't know how many I'm going to need, so let's grab all these and... That set up, do that thing diagonal. And that one, and we'll throw the rest back in here, I think. There we go. Th this should be enough for what I'm doing. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I, I just don't think that it's as good as it used to be. Um, so, I went to Culver's. I guess that, yeah, that's the first time I had Brandon Wild. Or, no, wait. No, I take it back. I didn't have bread that time. I stopped for a chocolate malt. <laughs> it's been, it actually has been two weeks. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I got a meatloaf uh, reheat meal thing from the, the grocery store. That's why. Let's go back over here. Uh, overall, not been too bad of a week, the last two weeks or so. I get a weird uh, message person I don't remember what it was said now it's uh, some 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 something weird I, I can't remember it started with a P or something like that it was and uh, different text or something like that like I don't know um Regardless, that that might be a bot, so I gotta keep an eye out for bots. I guess. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, speaking of YouTube, what a weird thing. I've got it on my my uh, TV, and there's a series called uh, Fallout. Insert number is a nightmare. Or 
absolute nightmare or something like that. And it would not let me watch three. It said, sign, this has adult content. You please sign in with your main account. I'm like, what? I'm on my main account. <laughs> what in the world can you possibly mean? You know, and what could there possibly be in Fallout 3 that would require an adult uh, thing, considering what I had just watched before, which was... Uh, uh, it's, what was it? Smiling Friends? When they, they tore the demon apart? Like, okay, so I need censoring for that, uh, for Fallout, but I don't need it for... Th uh, well, it wouldn't be cannibalism. What would it be? Regardless. So that was like, what? What is this nonsense? I don't know. Maybe it's part of some other junk that's going on. I, I don't pay attention to the YouTube drama at all. Um, the day so I am really enjoying this I'm not sure I, I'm still perplexed by how I'm going to do the next spot because this has to come over um, if I do it here in this uh, section here and uh, I don't know in the middle of this yeah, this is the middle. Uh, that could work. And uh, I could do it over here as well. That might be how I end up doing this. I'm not sure. But uh, that's really all I'm going to do for the moment. Uh, maybe I'll cut forward to deciding how I'm going to set up this part. i got to do a... Cr what I've done before is I, I've, I've actually built this thing about, this would be the fourth or fifth time I've been built, I've built this. I, in fact, recorded a whole episode, hated the way it looked, and scrapped the whole thing, tore it right back down using a similar method to how you saw, and then uh, came back up, or came back to this, so. If I put the, it here, if I could sneak underneath. You know, I could do that. Bring this block out so that it's... Yeah, that, that might work. Okay. Uh, I'm just deciding what I'm going to do here. I may take this block here and move it up to here. This, this X section. To give it a little bit more height. Uh, and then right over here. So it'd be... A, well, that might be the way to go, but for the time being, that's where I'm going to uh, end this segment of the video. And probably in a few hours after I decided what I want to do, we'll be back. All right, so we're back and I did decide without thinking about it. Um, didn't put the cross bra bracing in yet, but uh, without thinking about it, I did. Uh, that side. So I'm kind of flipping this uh, a little bit. We're going to copy what I did over there and uh, proceed from that point. So basically, what I did was I took out this cross section down here. Yes, there is a little bit right here, but that's not, that's a ramp, not a, an actual uh, piece. I'm going to actually duplicate that over here as well. What I could do is, is actually that, if I remember right. And oh yeah, this this is too long. So let's go and actually utilize the thing I made here. There we go. Got this. Come on. Go. Perfect. There, I think. One, two, one, two. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and uh, just do it here. Did I do this right? 
Or did I... Wait a minute. How did this work out last time? Should be right in line. Is it? Did I mess something up? I feel like something somewhere is not as it should be. Wait, now I'm confused. Ugh. Oh, right. right it's just not perfect there we go so that that was the, the whole mystery right there I'm like wait, wait a minute hold on I know I did this right I guess I thought I did oh, I'm stuck um, since I'm continuously falling let's go ahead and grab the master and just fly out of there uh, if you were in survival, you'd probably have to kill yourself in order to get uh, out of that situation. It's not the biggest deal since there's no real loss. Well then, there we go. I think I did it right. Yep, perfect. So let's go ahead and do the next part. This is actually going to be 10 long to match up with these over here. Yeah, I did three in total. There's that, that, and I did carry it over here. So let's go ahead and go down to that one. This is actually a mistake. I need to come back up here and fix this real quick. Um, not the biggest of deals. This is fine. Um, right here. But these actually need to be eights. You know, like that. So let's go back up there. Uh, I'm not gonna build a ramp over there. If, once I bring this down, I'll put the the some sort of ramp to get up there, but right now I don't, don't need to do that. Go back up here. These guys out because they are the wrong ones. There we go. Perfect. This is incorrect as well because that needs to be. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ten long and then this eight. Flip this. So and I'm out of timbers, so we gotta go grab some more. I'm I should be fine. I've got a lot of logs back there at home base. It's just uh uh yeah, we can utilize almost all of them, I think, if not all of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and since I'm running up the even though I'm not Oops, that's a little too far away. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Sure. What was that nonsense? Alright, that should be an eight, I think. Yeah, we'll go on up here. There's a ten again. That's a ten. There's a ten. That's a ten. Let's go ahead and go back in the first person. It's, it's just ever so slightly easier for me to do that this time around. Is that right? That's right. Should be eight. Eight. And eight. 
heat. This one I might... Hold on. I might raise this one. Yeah, I think I might raise that. That'd actually kind of look cool. Um, so we'll take these ones out. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Basically, what I'm just putting this little bump in here. It serves no purpose whatsoever, but I think it looks. Um, I think it looks nice. You can get away from this area. There we go. And we'll go back in F8 because I'm not going to try to get up on top of these things. We'll do the same over there. We're going over. Take this guy out because he's in the wrong spot. So is that one. So is that one. That one. And there, that drops. That is exactly what I wanted to see happen. Totally was not a mistake on my part whatsoever. Everything was planned. I swear. There we go. 10, 10, throw this back in there. I'm not even sure entirely how it fell. Uh, actually, I think I do have an idea, but I'm not gonna worry about it. <gasps> Ow. Okay, gonna run this way so I don't fall into that death trap there. Oh, you know what? I left. That bottom piece there coming across. I think I'll do the same on this. Even though it's not required. Yeah, there we go. That will allow it to uh, be connected. Uh, stop that. I don't know why I keep slipping down like that. All right, timber, timber. Uh, where is F8? here like that like that timber. timber I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> it's a little weird oh well yeah we'll do this up here This side here. Hmm. So this is where that ends up. I'm wondering if I want to do... So this is where the, the blocks will, will align. And... Otherwise I can do it here. The only problem is that if I do it here... Um, it's not as stable. I'm trying to decide if I go here. And do 
include like a block here and here, which would have enough room uh, otherwise. It would keep the... How do I do it here? Because right now this head serves no purpose whatsoever. That's why I'm trying to decide which way I want to go about this. And I just saw that I missed a uh, cross. Perfect. Really, something like this has no um, meaning whatsoever. I could always do it there. You know, thinking about it, I think that, that this is what I want to do. So we're going to go, go across like this. And this will be uh, the framework for what we're going to be building as far as the crane portion goes. I'm going to have to push this thing over the top of this when we get to that point. Um, mainly because I think, unless they've changed it, um, was this not? No, it does. It goes all the way through. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. But I saw something. That, why is this here? Must have been a misclick on my part. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to go up? Yes. No. Maybe. No. Yeah, this this is gonna work out fine. Um. Yeah, I don't want this. It, I want this to be like the edge if I can so I think this will work okay did I ever bring the catch blocks with me in this uh, f6 that's how I see I did not okay I've got to go grab catch blocks and I've got to go grab the um, or do I want to even bother with those at the moment um, Yes, I do want to bother with those at the moment. We're going to make the last piece here, uh, which means that I am actually short on catch blocks. I'll be right back once I've created those and the last of the items I need for this build today. And then next time we will do the cart. Okay, we're back. We have the, the we have the technology. What? Let me tell you something though. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with that. I was gonna tell you something, I completely forgot. Um, this, I think will work. Yes, <laughs> don't know, didn't you remember? Uh, my brain is slowly sh but surely breaking from uh, the situation that <laughs> I was handed. Oh uh, man. But anyways, if uh, in the meantime somebody decides to attempt at modding the rope drums, I would be greatly appreciated. Appreciative of uh, that contribution to the series. I, uh... Yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> it's, it's been one of those, it's been one of those uh, sessions, right? And, and I mean, it's really been the culmination of multiple sessions. Um, to this point, so yay. Cool. I appreciate the fact that I could do that um, in uh, in my character screen. Again, it's showing. That's a, a bug. Uh, it's showing me that I have more more inventory than I actually do. 
so connect the rope there and we sidestep Ooh. this side for some reason uh, not like in my uh We got to do the other side real quick what i want to do is i want to make sure that this can be rotated from either side now we're not going to be able to demonstrate this today uh because i haven't put built the cart yet uh, we're not going to demonstrate that until after i have the carts in place and like i said i don't want to move this thing uh move these because i want them aligned uh with the the bottom for we're ready so that's the last thing for today there is i could put the these guys in however um when i did it in a test re uh, recently the shifted over to one side so i'm not sure what exactly the plan will be for this just yet could probably do too wide and maybe that would solve the issue although i'm afraid that clang may uh, change that uh, perspective so i'm going to do some tests on that afterwards if you got any questions or comments about the the grand tree here um i'd be more than willing to, to talk to you about that and um yeah Overall, this has been this has been a week's worth of research and development, and it looks like my screen is very choppy. I'm gonna have to definitely look into uh, my recording software because it's pretty smooth and otherwise. Um, also, I'll have to check the play app, playback. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, it's, this has been a lot of fun uh, engineering things again. Uh, the only thing left I've got to do on the tracks is make some stops so that it won't roll off the end. Um, that would be bad. And, uh, you know, another stop that makes it line up with the hole and maybe something that will align the cart so that when it goes to start dropping down, that it stays in a central location. So those are things to look into. Um, but that will be a, a later time. I might even uh, put a staircase all the way around. Um, like I said, things to look into. Uh, but that's all I have for today. So thank you guys for stopping by. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. A small editor's note. I did test out the bogeys. We are going to get rid of these center points in the next video. Um, and... Uh, well, I got rid of them in this test, but uh, to kind of demonstrate that uh, this does work. Now, I was messing around to see, they said don't add two bogey um, guides, and I messing, was messing around with this. It seems to work just fine, but uh, we're just as the, the mod suggests, I am not going to use two. I'm just going to use the one, but uh, just a little editor's note. Thank you guys again for watching.